Right. I'm a professor of material science and engineering and biomedical engineering here at Carnegie Mellon, and I work on flexible electronics to connect the brain with computers. But I'm also a really enthusiastic mountaineer. In our day-to-day -day jobs, we're very focused on efficiency and speed and execution. And to some extent, that parallels some activities in mountaineering. But also times in mountaineering, you might be stuck in your tent for not just a day or two days, maybe a week or 10 days, like I was last summer in Alaska. The mountaineering is an interesting combination of first, being able to physically do something, uh, second, being able to be technically competent in the skills and the techniques to actually do it safely. And the third is really important, and that's managing risk. So mountaineering has a lot in common with engineers. In fact, many of the people in our club are in fact engineers, and that's kind of the inside joke there. But with that element of the unknown, it's really important to use kind of the engineer's mindset and be able to calculate that risk in real time, and then as a team, come together and make decisions about what the team should do. That mental component is equally important and also perhaps more difficult to master because there is no guidebook. Ironically, I'm afraid of heights. And so there's nothing worse you can do than go mountaineering if you're afraid of heights, right? I think that's a great example of how you can use experience and trust gear and trust your engineering solutions to take this primal fear of heights and try to overcome it. Being a mountaineer in Pittsburgh may sound kind of oxymoronic in some way, but really what Pittsburgh has is a lot of interesting features and topography and landscapes that allow one to train to be a mountaineer. And we see this a lot in the Explorers Club of Pittsburgh and also the CMU Explorers Club as well. What those clubs afford is really a powerful network and then link up together, build smaller teams, and then go out beyond Pittsburgh to other bigger mountains. I think when you get to the summit, people have a variety of emotions. For me, it's euphoria for about 20 seconds or so. Then I realize there's this descent probably ahead of me and it's probably dark and it's probably gonna be just as dangerous as the ascent as well. And so there's this, again, like science or like engineering, it's like you've accomplished something, but there's always more to be done. And so there's this kind of transient accomplishment that comes and goes. Just like academics and science or engineering, those are often transient as well. And so really what you have to enjoy is not just that moment, but really the process.